What's up guys, Jack here with MTS, and Ubiquiti just announced the Unified Dream Router. Now this is basically an updated version of the Unified Dream Machine. Now if you remember the Dream Machine, it's basically your little pill-shaped router here, and it's got a 4x4 AC access point here, 4 gigabit Ethernet ports here acting as a switch, and that switch is manageable through the Unified Controller, which this thing also runs. It also runs your router, so basically this guy is just your consumer router, but on steroids. So. Let's see how the new Unified Dream Router differs. So Ubiquiti made one of their product announcement videos for the new Unified Dream Router. So I figured we could watch that, break it down, and then we'll talk about my thoughts afterwards. So let's just get right into the video. Introducing the Unified Dream Router. Right out of the box, the UDR is a plug and play Unify OS con- Okay, so they added a little screen to it that shows your throughput. I'm not sure how useful this is or why they did that, but hey, it's kind of cool, so. Console featuring a built-in 4x4 enterprise Wi-Fi 6 access point. That's one of the big changes that they made. They added Wi-Fi 6 to this guy instead of uh, 802.11ac. So, hey, that's a big upgrade. For the latest and fastest wireless connectivity, the built-in PoE gigabit switch. Okay, so here's the second big change that they made. So, in the un regular Unified Dream Machine, you have your, your four Ethernet ports, and they added PoE to these bottom two. Now, that's only two ports of PoE, so I'm not too sure how useful that'll be, but hey, it's really nice to have it. And I'm not going to complain about a company giving me more options, so... ...has two PoE ports that lets you power your devices right from the UDR. So this is one of the things that they show that really gives us a hint into what this thing is running. And I don't understand why they changed the name of this. So this is the Unified Dream Router. It's not a dream machine anymore. So why was the old device a Unified Dream Machine and this is only a dream router? Because based off of this image here, well, this is a phone and this is a camera. So this thing has to be running Unified Protect and Unified Talk. So it's running pretty much all of Ubiquiti's, you know, console applications. So why is this a dream router and the other one is only a dream machine? Like why, why aren't those names flipped? Why isn't this a dream machine SE similar to what they did with the Unified Dream Machine Pro and the Dream Machine Pro SE? I just don't get that, but let's just keep going. The built-in 128 gigabyte SSD provides instant storage for Unify Protect video camera security. To okay, so that's the third big change that they made. This thing now runs Unify Protect with an integrated 128 gig SSD. Now it did look, if we go back to the video, like this is socketed here. I would be really curious to see if you could swap out this SSD with a bigger one. Now this does look like it's an M SATA SSD, so they shouldn't be too difficult to come by, but I'd just be curious to see if you could actually upgrade it and swap it out. because. 128 gigs while it is an SSD isn't enough storage for many security cameras but then again this thing really isn't targeted towards big installations and we'll talk about that more in the future but yeah let's just get back to this gigabyte SSD provides instant storage for Unify Protect video camera security deployment and an SD slot allows for easy okay, expansion. Okay, okay, okay. So that's how they're doing their expansions with an SD card on the back or a micro SD card. And it looked like that was under a pretty cool little little flap. Like that's that seems just over engineered right there. But hey, I'm not gonna complain. Expandable storage is nice. The UDR sets up in minutes and is ready to run any Unify OS application and power your home or small business. Unify Connect? I haven't heard about that one yet. That could be interesting. But yeah, so we can see here that this is running the full-on suite of Unify, you know, applications. So why is this not a dream machine? Why is it a dream router? I mean, it is a pretty beefed up router, but yeah, I just don't know. With all these other applications that it can run, why did they drop the dream machine name? So deployment everything you need for a complete Unify experience. The Unify Dream Router offers a simple all-in-one platform into the world of Unify. Get started with Unify today at UI.com. Okay, so we have a lot to talk about. 
So it really seems like this thing is catered for really small businesses and more prosumer home use. So this would be great for, you know, dad to buy and deploy in the house, you know, just because all the kids are, you know, trying to do school from home. Parents are trying to do work from home. This would be a great little upgrade. But for an installer like me, well, I'm not too sure how useful this would be because one of the first things that I try and do in every home installation is relocate the service because the ISP installers, all they care about is how quickly can I get a cable into the house? How quickly can I configure this gear and how quickly can I leave? So I try and relocate the service to come in from the basement so that way all the routers, you know, switches, anything like that can be hidden away because it's really an eyesore to see, you know, a consumer modem, router, switch, all that crap in the middle of your living room. So I relocate everything to the basement and with this guy having an access point built in, that access point becomes a little bit less useful when it's tucked away in a closet in the basement. Now, if your basement is finished, this would be great. And then you can run, you know, using the POE ports to maybe a, a camera out front and then another access point upstairs, that would be great. But for more of the, the prosumers who don't wanna, you know, mess around with doing a whole bunch of wiring, you buy this and then you buy a Beacon HD to put upstairs and there you go. And Ubiquiti should be coming out with a Wi-Fi 6 version of the Beacon HD, which is that, you know, plug it into the wall and it's just a range extender, but for Ubiquiti networks, they should be coming out with a Wi-Fi 6 version of that, which would pair very nicely with the Dream router. So that's really where I see that being useful, but I plan on buying three of them. I'm gonna buy one of them to replace my network in a box. And this is my network in a box. Now, the Dream Router isn't exactly a perfect drop-in replacement for this guy. There'll be parts of this that come with me, but I will use the Dream Router as the base of everything. So my network in a box is, well, a box with power input and then power out, and then we have a WAN connection and dual LANs, and these LANs are PoE. We also have an XLR port down here for ArtNet or streaming ACN, which is DMX lighting control over the network. So if we open things up, we got my Linksys router here, a PoE switch down at the bottom, and then an ArtNet node in here, some software licenses and a few cables. But this guy is not exactly the best. It's an old Linksys consumer home grade router. It doesn't do VLANs, doesn't do anything like that. And I still need that PoE switch. So this having PoE is gonna be really nice. It's gonna allow me to basically swap this guy out for the Dream Router. Now the Dream Router will probably go into this box as well as, you know, still keeping the ArtNet node, but yeah, that's a really cool use case for something like that. The second one I plan on buying is gonna go to my grandma's house. Now, my grandma actually has a pretty decent internet connection, so I use her house to hold one of my offsite backups. It's just a little Synology NAS that I put over there. So, being able to have better Wi-Fi when we go to grandma's house, being able to remotely manage the router and get you know a nicer router overall, that's gonna be awesome. Now the third dream router that I plan on buying is gonna be replacing my current travel access point. Whenever I travel, I take an access point with me. For the longest time, that's been the Flex HD access point. And I travel with an access point really for one main reason, and that's so that way I don't have to punch in all the SSIDs you know, into all of my devices and stuff whenever I travel. So it's really nice, pull out my access point, plug it in, all my devices recognize it, bam, done. Makes things really nice, but being able to have a better access point being Wi-Fi 6, being able to have the full-on managed switch, being able to have PoE out, and an NVR in there is gonna be really nice. And the NVR is gonna be specifically useful for whenever I'm staying in hotels or places that I don't really trust all my stuff to be left alone at. Because there's a Wi-Fi access point built in, I can use the $29 little G3 instant camera. Have this guy just perched up watching the door, seeing who's coming in and out, and then the dream router can go behind the bed or somewhere out of sight, out of mind. So that way, nobody's really able to figure out where things are. So I think that that is gonna be an awesome use case for these guys. And I see Ubiquiti probably selling a lot of these. It seems like this is what the original dream machine should have been. I mean, it's replacing the same form factor, although, Again, seriously, why did they change the name from Dream Machine to Dream Router? The new Dream Router does way more than the Dream Machine ever did, so why is the Dream Machine the Dream Machine? They got their names backwards, so 
yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for this new little access point router all in one thing. One of the things that I feel like Ubiquity kind of missed the mark on is really with their VPN support. It would be awesome if I could take one of these guys here, pair it with one of their phones, you know, because it has the PoE ports and have it VPN back into a maybe a Dream Machine Pro, where that would be really useful is being able to have the Dream Machine Pro at like, you know, your home base, whether that's your, your home or your business, and then being able to use the Dream Routers as employee nodes. So basically you could have, you know, VPN from the Dream Router into the Dream Machine Pro, and that would then manage all of your PBX stuff. So you could just plug in an IP phone to the Dream Router, give it to an employee to take home or take with them while they travel, and then all those ports, they could plug in their laptop, bam, their laptop is VPN'd in. Any device that they connect to Wi-Fi is VPN'd in. All of their phone stuff just works. You could even have, like, if Unify does this with their access system, that could be really cool to pair with an access card reader. So your two PoE ports could be taken up by a phone and an access reader and, oh, you just swipe your smart card on there and bam, you're VPN'd in. That could be really cool. And uh, I would love it if Ubiquity did that. I think that would just be absolutely awesome. But anyway, guys, I'm super happy with this thing. I think it's going to sell incredibly well. This is just the Dream Machine because I don't have the store page yet for the um, Dream Router. But yeah, as long as we're getting a souped up version of the Dream Machine, there's not really too much to complain about. Aside from the fact that seeing as they showed in the setup video that it's basically just a, oh, you plug it in and your phone will set it up. I can almost guarantee that this is not going to have any sort of local user only mode. You're going to have to set it up using a Ubiquity account. You're going to have to have an active internet connection. And then you're going to have to go through all the, the fuss of removing all that stuff afterwards if you don't want to have everything managed through your Ubiquity single sign-on. But hey, that's just kind of what we expect from Ubiquity at this point. So I guess it's on par with their other terrible uh, decisions that they've been making ever since the Dream Machine came out. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you really liked it and want to see more of me in your subscription feed, well, then you can go ahead and get subscribed. I'm going to have links down in the description to where you can go watch Ubiquity's video, as well as a store page link to the new Dream Router once that becomes available. But while you're down there, go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what do you think about the new Dream Router? Where would you use this? Do you see this being really useful in a home? small business and what you think about the new dream router name losing the machine part but anyway guys thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one